A Toronto man is going public tonight with his story of paying for financial advice he never received to the tune of about 60000 bucks. He's among the growing number of DIY investors, Canadians who don't use financial advisors and manage their own portfolios on their own online. All of the big banks offer internet investing, as do many independent web brokers, and the money involved is huge. As of 2015, Canadians had about $32 billion worth of mutual funds held in online brokerages. The trouble is, embedded in most of those mutual funds are surcharges for financial advice known as trailer fees. And as Erica Johnson reports, online investors say they shouldn't have to pay them. Somebody's morally in the wrong and investors are getting screwed. Steve Posgadge follows financial news closely. He's a do-it-yourself investor. For years, he's bought mutual funds online. The broker carries out his buy and sell orders but doesn't give advice. Posgadge recently discovered he and his wife were dinged about $5,000 last year in what are called trailer fees, paid to the broker for giving advice. So I was paying for something that they were legally not able to to give. Crazy. This law firm has recently filed two proposed class action lawsuits against the investment management divisions of TD and Scotiabanks. There's no advice. What, what are investors paying for? We say they shouldn't be paying. Neither TD nor Scotiabank would comment saying the matter is before the courts. This investor advocate says those trailer fees paid to online brokers should be banned. This has been going on for years and it's collectively you know, costing Canadians probably a couple hundred million dollars a year. I would like to see the regulators act more decisively and more quickly on this issue. The Canadian Securities Administrators has just tabled a proposal to ban mutual fund trailer fees paid to brokers who don't give advice. The industry now has three months to respond. Erica Johnson, CBC News, Vancouver. All of our Go Public stories come from people like you. So if you have a story you want our team to look into, just send us an email. Go to uh, gopublic at cbc.ca and that's it.